Hello, and welcome to Roanoke Hobby and Electronics. In this video, we're going to get the HexAware wearable IoT Internet of Things device uh, connected. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to uh, use Bluetooth to connect the, uh, the HexAware device uh, with an app on your uh, cell phone. And that is how you're going to uh, be collecting the data from the sensors and getting it to your cell phone through Bluetooth. So that part is coming up next. So the, uh, the HexAware is a, a small wearable device that uh, has um, a number of sensors built in. Uh, it's got a gyroscope, a magnometer, it's got uh, temperature, um, humidity, uh, atmospheric pressure. And uh, one thing that's really unique uh, with the HexAware, it also has uh, a sensor built in that can detect your heart rate. And, uh, of course, with the uh, gyroscope and the magnometer, it can um, count your number of steps. So what I'm um, going to be looking at um, in, in our example here is using the, the HexAware to uh, measure your heart rate uh, while you're walking and getting some exercise. But, uh, but first, to be able to do that, you've got to, to get the HexAware connected uh, to the app on your cell phone. So uh, we'll zoom in here a little bit closer. And, um, and we'll just see, see if I can get this work uh, the first time. That would be really embarrassing um, if we, we couldn't get it to work here uh, in our example. But, um, and I'm getting quite a bit of glare here, but I'm going to try to get it where you can see um, We've got the, uh, the HexAware app, and we're going to open that up. And um, this is a good time to uh, the mention then um, we're at the login screen. And um, to, to be able to collect the data um, on the cloud so that you can um, chart it or use the data that you're collecting, you will need to go to, um, to wolksense.com. And uh, with the purchase of the HexAware, you get an account uh, on this cloud service. So I'll take uh, just a short little break here. We'll get logged in, but uh, you will you will need to create an account, and then um, then on your then on the app on your phone, you will log in with that account. Okay, so uh, I went ahead and. Um, Got the uh, account logged in, and um, gosh, it uh, the screen glare is pretty bad here, but um, it's showing, um, and and you have to have Bluetooth on your on your phone turned on. Let me get back here, so. Um, on the uh, on the HexAware device, uh, you got uh, also have to um, enable the uh, Bluetooth. So you go into settings, and we're going to toggle Bluetooth on, and then uh, then on your phone you should see new HexAware. And um, once you tap that, you're going to get a code then that uh, you can punch in to um, to bond the uh, the phone to your hexware. And yeah, it makes a nice little loud buzz there. Um, and then on, on the app, you can, especially if you have more than one HexAware, it's handy um, to give it a name so you know which device. 
So I'm just going to call the device uh, my Hexaware. Sorry about the uh, the uh, quality of the screen capture there. Um, all right, so so now the phone is uh, paired with the Hexaware and. And we got the Bluetooth on, and we're going to enable we the sensor tag. So now, as you can see, the little light blinking. Now it is collecting sensor data, and it's paired with the phone. It's um, and it very promptly uh, disconnected, and. So this this would be a good time to uh, just to point out I've been I've been working with the Hexaware uh, with the phone um, for quite a few days and um, with iOS I never could get the Hexaware to consistently uh, connect with an iPhone. Um, let's see what we can. See if we can go through the steps here and try to get it to connect again. I feel it vibrating, so it's, I feel like it's uh, settings. Bluetooth is on. I'll toggle that on. And I felt it vibrate like it was connecting. There it goes. Now it's now it's connected to the My Hexaware. Turn on fitness app or sensor, ta sensor tag mode to display uh, data. So we'll go back here. And there it was connected and now it's disconnected. So um, I, I guess this is good that um, I'm having a little bit of trouble here because I'm, I'm definitely making the point. But those were the steps you go through to connect the, um, the HexaWare device to, to the app on your phone. Uh, it's acting, acting, asking me to um, connect it again. So... That's that's the step. So so using uh, using Bluetooth, uh, you're going to connect the Hexaware to uh, to the app on your phone, um, where you log in to your cloud account uh, cloud account on the uh, VolkSense.com, and um, and then it will start transferring data. So we're going to wrap up this segment. Those were the steps to uh, that you're supposed to take to get it connected. Um, but we, we were having a little bit of issue there. And that's one thing I wanted to make a point in the video here that uh, I don't think they've got the iOS app uh, completely worked out yet because I never could consistently uh, keep it connected for more than a few minutes. Um, so anyway, so we're, we're going to wrap up uh, this segment and then in the next part, we're going to then collect some data and send the data up to the cloud. And that's what we're going to be using then, uh, using the, um, the Hexaware to measure uh, heart rate uh, while uh, exercising and, and using that as a useful data to monitor your heart rate. So that uh, will uh, wrap up uh, part two of our series here with the uh, Hexaware. Uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you find the videos useful, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be notified when we uh, post a new video. And uh, be sure and stop by the blog at roanokehobby.info and uh, check out some of the previous videos that uh, we put up. So uh, again, thanks for watching and uh, we'll be back with uh, part three of our Hexaware series.